there so today we're going to be testing out some more Primark makeup we have the foundation stick we have the triple ended not even the double ended triple ended three in one brow precision pencil and powder we're going to be testing that bad boy out we have a mascara which is the iconic mascara and we also have a concealer however i'm going to be using this as a cream contour uh, because i got it in like a kind of deeper shade so that i could kind of test it out and see if it would work well as like a cream contour so i mean that's what we're going to be doing today so we're just going to begin by the way my nails like i've just done my nails so they're a little bit wet what are we thinking about the fake septum ring Mm, I don't know. I just oh, oh oh okay. So this is what the stick foundation packaging looks like. It's part of the My Perfect Color range, which is quite an extensive range. I've tried out the foundation, which I actually really really liked. However, I would probably say for me it was more of a BB cream, um, but for the price it was brilliant. So I do have high expectations for the stick foundation i have tried a stick foundation from primark before um and i don't think i was that enthralled with it it just says on the back that you can create buildable coverage it doesn't say you can create i was winging it there i was throwing in extra words it says buildable coverage velvet finish i love a bit of a velvet finish i think that velvet finish doesn't get talked about as much as it probably should we're all raving about a matte a satin a dewy finish well what about velvet finish why would you not want to look like your grandma's sofa i mean really and also it says that it's infused well it doesn't say infused again i'm adding extra words but it, it says vitamin e right that look vitamin e but i feel like well okay well what is it a vitamin e stick now no it's infused with vitamin e probably so i'm making it like I'm basically rewriting the description for them because they've just not put enough effort in in my opinion. They get marked down for that. This is in the shade Nude Beige, which I don't know if this is the right shade. Um, there was very little to kind of go off. Um, they did have quite a few uh, different shades and the ivory and porcelain ones look to be really quite light. So I thought, well, why not just be a bit of a rebel and go for nude beige? This cost me £2.50, which is super, super cheap, uh, which is great. And let's see how much you actually get in the stick. Oh my gosh, look at that. So that's quite a, um agreeable length, I would say. What do you say? The actual amount of product you get is 11 grams and if I just do a little swatch on my hand, oh my gosh, it looks quite orange. Okay, and what I've just got from the swatch as well is that it felt quite dry and it's quite difficult to blend. But I do have my little beauty blender here. This is actually L'Oreal's beauty sponge and I didn't like it for ages but I started using it more because my other two are just beyond the point of use. I feel like I'm going to be contracting some awful diseases if I use them but still have I thrown them away? No, no, because apparently she's in love with them and she doesn't want to throw them away because then they'll be sad. So anyway, yes. Yeah. So but anyway, I've started using this one and I actually really, really love it now. Although I've just cleaned it. I've given it a really good clean and it just never seems to appear clean, which is a little bit disappointing. So let's just do this. I've already done my eye makeup um, just so that I'm a little bit prepared, you know, and my skin is not too bad at the moment i did get a couple of little unwanted visitors but i mean they're going it's fine i can deal with it you know like if you've ever really suffered with breakouts that are painful and like just so sore just having a couple of visitors on your face pff, ah, not a problem for me i can deal with that okay so let's just do this i have oily skin it's not super oily but it's definitely oily i've also got more mature skin i've got pores i've got fine lines all the good stuff um okay so to cover those bad boys up i mean really right so i mean it's on my face should i try a brush as well do you reckon like a brush and a sponge let's go in with the sponge first okay I 
I think the best kind of stick foundation that I've ever tried was by e.l.f. Um, they did like a, a stick foundation called, I think it's like the moisturising stick or something like that. And I thought that was actually really, really good. Um, okay, so it seems to be like blending out nicely. Uh, I think the shade is actually surprisingly quite good. I feel like if I'd gone for the lighter shades, it would have like been too light. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely gone on like really, really easily. I don't have any problems with the kind of application. Um, I know that a lot of people like to mix a little bit of like um, a beauty oil with a stick found ideation, i.e. ABH stick foundations that just look like a nightmare to blend. But this one actually, you saw, it's just gone on so, so easily. So, uh, I don't know if I would necessarily call this a medium coverage and if I would I'd say low medium um, because you can still see quite a bit you know peeping on through uh, this is my skin without anything on it so I'm liking it I think it's gonna be a really nice natural finish it's kind of in the middle of radiant and matte it's just in the middle would we say velvet maybe so oh gosh look at my nose oh my gosh seriously oh get rid of those paws I mean really girlfriend oh my gosh why are my paws not going can you see on my nose oh my oh my gosh that looks absolutely fucking awful what's going on there I'm actually using a special like expensive night moisturizer at the moment that's meant to get rid of paws it's called paw zero for god's sake but I feel like it's not doing anything with the fucking paws what's going on there oh my god my paws have never been quite so big okay I'm not loving the foundation on my nose I don't know if it's the foundation or just my nose the pores have just got a lot worse but I've never seen my pores look quite so atrociously bad before okay I hate this I hate it on my nose I, I don't mind everywhere else but look for some reason on my nose it's just not working okay so anyway i'm going to go ahead do the other side of my face and then i will be back and we can um kind of check it out by the way there's something really like enjoyable about just popping that all over the fecking face i don't know what it is but i just i love it let me just show you this right i've just noticed this but can you see like this is unblended but can you see how much it's accentuating the pores like and also like around my nose i don't know what it is about this foundation but i've never had that like happen before with a foundation where your pores are just so like magnified <sighs> okay so i just did my lips and do you know what <sighs> i do not like this foundation um i feel like from afar it doesn't look that bad but up close it has done an absolutely awful job of magnifying every single pore on my face um i just i don't understand like how it can look quite so bad but can you see it's just accentuating all of the texture on my face and i don't like it i don't like it i won't be wearing it again this is definitely a hard pass hard fucking pass for me so that's going to go in my disappointing products pile uh, to feature in a disappointing products video at some point in the future I definitely would not recommend the stick foundation to you particularly if you've got a lot of texture on your skin like me okay so on my lips I've put my current favorite lip product this is by Primac it's the Instagirl intense liquid lipstick um Oh, it's on my teeth as well. Oh, God, I mean, really. So this is basically a very pigmented, uh, like, lip gloss. It doesn't dry down. It's not matte. Um, but I love the shade of this. I just think it's the most perfect shade. Okay, so moving on. We're going to go into the My Perfect Colour. This is a concealer stick. It claims to be full coverage and it claims to give a natural finish. But today, we're not using it as a concealer. We're going to use it as a contour like a cream contour so oh oh my gosh it's nowhere near as dark as i was kind of oh my gosh expecting like literally what what is that like where is it oh my gosh it's more of like a orangey shade what can you see oh god right this is a disaster video this video is a fucking disaster so far i mean what what's going on okay forget that it's not even it's not 
it's just not it's just not okay right let me come in with my saving grace this is my makeup revolution contour stick i'm gonna actually just carve out those cheeks and then i'll be back and we could test out the mascara and i've got the eyebrow stuff i might do the eyebrow stuff first and then no i'll do mascara first look i'm just having internal dialogue here uh okay anyway guys i'm gonna be back in a minute okay so i'm so sorry that the um attempt at doing cream contour with the concealer just was a complete fail but i mean yeah so okay so next hopefully we're going to move on to a product that's actually going to be really good um i've always had really good um experiences with primark mascara if you're looking for like a really good but super cheap mascara i don't think you can ever go wrong with primark i've tried three of their mascaras and loved them all two of them are in my everyday makeup bag Okay, so this one is called the Iconic. I'm sorry, I know you can't probably see that too well. It claims to be intense, black, lengthening and full volume. And it's got a flexible rubber brush. So if we just open her up, she looks very similar to the Amplified Mascara. Let's just go in and do this. It's just got loads of quite short rubber bristles on it. So let's just do this. Okay, so it's immediately one of those mascaras that is just so easy to use. There's just no messing about with this. Oh, ah, oh, she says, and then covers like her fingers in the mascara. I mean, great. Okay, so I've just done one layer. It was super easy to use, no messing about. It's just a very kind of gen generic, like basic wand. Um, but I think that's really kind of what you need with a mascara. Um, I know all these different brands are bringing out like fancy looking ones that look like some kind of torture tool. Uh, but really, I mean, a, a basic wand is kind of all we need. So yeah, I'm kind of liking this so far. Nothing special. It's not blowing me away, but it just is a standard good mascara. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other eye and then we can check out the final result. So we are doing the finger technique just to get the very most out of this mascara that we can get. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. Like for me, one of the makeup products that I firmly believe you do not need to spend a lot of money on to get a really, really good product is mascara. For me, like my favorite mascara is the Lash Princess by Essence. I know you're probably really sick of hearing it by now because I mention it in probably every single video that I do. But I just, I've bought expensive mascaras in the past and just thought, eh, yeah, okay, no better than my £3.49 one. And, you know, the same can be said for Primark mascaras. I just think they're brilliant. I mean, what do you want a mascara to do? Lengthen your eyelashes, give you a bit of volume and maybe a bit of curl and some lovely definition. I mean, really, let's face it, the success of a mascara is down to the brush. And I feel like if you've got a good brush, then you can just create a gorgeous eye look. Like mascara is the one area I will not spend a lot of money. I've not met an expensive mascara yet that has impressed me enough to think that, you know, I'm going to repurchase it basically. So yeah, if you've got any recommendations for any fabulous bomb diggity higher end mascaras, let me know. But I mean, honestly, so far, mm, like I was so tempted to buy the Troublemaker by Urban Decay, to be honest, like mostly because I thought the packaging was so pretty. But I kind of resisted it because I thought, well, I know I'm going to buy it and then probably just think oh, it's nowhere near as good as my Lash Princess. I don't know. I just think the Lash Princess has just spoiled it for all of the mascaras for me. But saying that, this is a really, really good one for £2.50. I would definitely prefer it a little bit more in the way of like volume. But I think it's for £2.50. I think it's a winner. Let's face it. Yes, I would smash it. For some reason, and I don't know why it is, but my uh, lip product isn't feeling that comfortable today. I don't know why I've worn it so many times and I've always found it comfortable, so it's doing my head in a bit. I don't know what its game is today, but I'm going to get rid of it and I'm putting something else on. 
because I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. I've got to focus on doing my eyebrows with the triple eyebrow dildo. I, I can't be worried about my lips. I mean, I just can't. Please pull yourself together and sort yourself out. But in the meantime, you're going on the naughty step. Okay, guys, so I just thought, right, I'll change the lip. I mean, I don't know if this is really working with the look, but I am loving it anyway. I also popped on some highlight and I thought, you know what? Let's just pop some onto the forehead as well. And I'm kind of loving it. I've got nowhere to be. And do you know what? The pink purple on the forehead I don't know I'm just loving it anyway right I feel like I'm fully ready now to test out this three in one eyebrow situation so it's got a little kind of brow pencil situation there so that's one end the other end is a fabulous spoolie what would we do without spoolies they're like the unspoken heroes of the eyebrow world um okay and next in here we've got the powder so i mean it's very exciting we've got a bit of everything um this is in the shade taupe and i believe it cost me three pounds so i mean i'm just really hoping that it's going to work i'm just loving how big it is it's girthy it feels good in my hand i mean i could just rub this all day okay so we're going to begin with the pencil end as i said this is in the shade taupe uh, which is usually the shade that i go for although i am a huge fan of like super intense brows um oh look at this highlight guys oh my god i'm loving it i am loving it right now so i'm just beginning with the uh, pencil bit I'm not used to using like um, an eyebrow pencil anymore because I always use a brow promenade. Um, I find it a lot easier to kind of do my eyebrows with a little brush. So this is, yeah, it's a little bit new to me. Uh, I've not done it like this for ages. Okay. Okay, so the actual uh, product seems to be like really, really creamy. I'm liking the shade of it. Uh, yeah, and it's just, it's easy to use. So I'm just going to use this to kind of map out my brow and then I'm going to go in with the powder on top to swoop in and make everything just look fabulous. One thing that is so much easier with using a pencil is you know the inner bit of your brow that's just an absolute war zone when you're trying to uh, kind of draw on your eyebrows with a promenade it always goes wrong at the inner corner although saying that I've got to really focus okay so I'm really liking this like I'm really really liking it so far Okay, so I've just kind of, you know, carved out my eyebrow situation. Okay, right, so there we go. So, I mean, you can see the difference between the um, undone eyebrow and then the done eyebrow. I just feel like I could just get away with a little bit more of a tip. Okay, right, I'm going to stop messing with it. Next, we're going to go in with the powder, but I've lost the lid where... Where did it go? Lid? Hello? Hello? Where are you? Where Where have you gone? Why have you left me? Oh, there it is. Okay, I've got it. It's fine. Call off the search parties. It's here. Okay, so brow powder next. Um, this is a little bit of like a multi-step process, which I'm kind of not the biggest fan of um, really, but what does brow powder actually do? Is it meant to like... I mean, is anything actually coming off? Okay. And I imagine that there's going to be some of the uh, powder stuff inside where it can replenish itself when you screw it in. Okay, so there we go. I don't really know, like, what this powder is actually doing. What do you think? Like, is it doing anything? I don't feel like it's actually adding a whole lot to the eyebrow. I mean, 
what is the actual like job specification of the brow powder? What's he meant to do? I don't feel like it's done, you know, that much. Oops. I'm just gonna go in with this spoolie. And that's really given me a good eyebrow. I mean, it's not my best work ever, but um, you know, for such an affordable product, I think it's done a really good job. I have no idea what the powder part's for, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you know what the powder is for. Powder, chowder, smalder, flounder. She's gone crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go away, do my other eyebrow, and then I'll be back. And we can just like discuss everything but i'm loving my highlight oh my gosh literally i'm gonna have to start just putting a highlight up on my forehead like this very like you know obnoxiously i'm gonna have to start doing it every single day i mean i'm loving it okay so i have done the other eyebrow now and yeah i mean i really do like this product the powder i could take it or leave it like I don't think I would generally be using the powder because I can't really see what it's actually adding you know to the whole look but I really like the eyebrow pencil it's super creamy super easy to use like it's not dry or you know you don't feel like you're kind of dragging it across it just kind of glides across so I really do like that the spoolie I mean it's a spoolie but how much do we love spoolies I feel like I should get a t-shirt how much do we love spoolies? Or just where's my fucking spoolie? I mean, really. So I really do like this. I would say this has definitely been the best product that I've tested out today. Yeah, I, I really don't like the foundation. Everything went on really nicely over the top of it. And I don't actually think it looks that bad. But I've got so many other foundations that I love. This would not be one that I would go for. I think that around the nose and just like, you know, over the main texture areas on my skin it just looks disastrous so it's not one that i would honestly be using again and i wouldn't recommend it um as i said the elf i think it's the elf moisturizing stick foundation is actually a really really good one so i mean that was an epic fail wasn't it trying to contour with a, an orangey beigey concealer i mean what was i thinking really i mean anyway the mascara great it's not my favorite i mean i was just kind of looking at my eyelashes as i was doing the rest of my face it's not like outstanding believe me like i'm not looking at my eyelashes thinking oh my gosh panties are getting wet it's just like the best thing ever no but i think for a really affordable basic and good you know agreeable mascara i think it's it's wonderful probably won't really be using it again and i feel like out of the three primark mascaras i've tried this is my least favorite just in case you're interested because i know it can be a bit tough when you're in primark and it's busy as hell and you're trying to pick out a mascara i'll just give you a brief run through of uh, my favorites so the false lash effect in the gold tube this is my favorite one this really gives you a lot of volume and i really really like this one so that's my favorite second favorite is the amplified this one gives you a lot of definition and it actually makes your lashes look very kind of pretty and uh, just very kind of neat so i really like the amplified um i like the iconic that i've got on but it's my least favorite of them all it left me with quite skinny lashes and I like my lashes to have a little bit of booty to them, you know. I want them to be able to twerk away. I mean, I don't know how, but anyway, that's just my dream. So, okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And yeah, please let me know down below if you've got any really good recommendations for Primark products that you love. Uh, because I'm a huge fan of Primark. Like, I'm just having a moment with Primark makeup right now. Uh, so any excuse to get back there and uh, buy more would be greatly appreciated. I hope that you're having a lovely day and I'll be back soon with more.